Hi, I'm Ruth Sprague from Illuminating Weaves and this video is going to show you how to take your weave uh, off your loom, um, your mini loom or your um, or your larger lap loom um, and show you how to take it off if you've warped up in the alternative way. So you can see I've nearly finished this, I've nearly finished this weave um, and this is the warp up method that won't have the strings along the back so it's it's been warped up by um going around each individual slot at the top and you can see how to do that on the other video relating to this so um i just wanted to show you that i've reached i've been i've been weaving with the wooden needle that came with the kit but when you get to the top and you're running out of space you might just want to switch to like a darning needle um any kind of bodkin um something with a you know that's nice and easy so it just gives you that bit more space um to actually weave as far as you can up to the top um i'm just i'm only going to do a little bit here just so that you could see what i was talking about it just gets a little too um narrow to actually weave with the the wooden needle so i'm going to end there so that it looks it looks like that you can actually weave right up to the very very top so to take this off there's no tying you don't have to do any tying with this method so if you turn it over you've just got these little loops and um you can use you use your fingers to pull them off or you can use a a needle to help push them up but what you're going to do is just pull each individual one over the top. It's very simple. So they're over the top there and then the bottom ones will just pull off. So then what you've got are these sort of a row of loops and what you can do is if you want to um, hang it and you want something as a hanger you can actually put something through those you know a, a thin dowel through if you want to um ones at the other end are even a little bit bigger or if you don't want to do that you can put it down do it so that you can see and you can actually just pull your weaving down a little bit at each end so this is where you're sort of beating quite firmly while you're actually weaving comes into play um so you can actually spread your weaving out a little bit so that you actually take up i finished it at the top there and you see those loops sort of disappear and hold your weaving in place so this is a really good sort of way if you just if you want to make a mat without any fringing um this is a good way um to warp up and to take off and your your um, weaving will be nice and secure um okay so thanks for watching and uh enjoy your weaving bye